Auto suggestion, Wikipedia article audio. Auto suggestion is a psychological technique related to the placebo effect, developed by apothecary Emil Coué at the beginning of the 20th century. It is a form of self-induced suggestion in which individuals guide their own thoughts, feelings, or behavior. The technique is often used in self-hypnosis. Kue graduated with a degree in pharmacology in 1876 and worked as an apothecary at Trois from 1882 to 1910. When he began working at Trois, he quickly discovered what later came to be known as the placebo effect. He became known for reassuring his clients by praising each remedy's efficiency and leaving a small positive notice with each given medication. Kue noticed that in specific cases he could improve the efficiency of a given medicine by praising its effectiveness to the patient. He realized that those patients to whom he praised the medicine had a noticeable improvement when compared to patients to whom he said nothing. This began Kue's exploration of the use of hypnosis and the power of the imagination. In 1901, he began to study under Ambroise Auguste Liebold and Hippolyte Bernheim, two leading exponents of hypnosis. After completing his tutelage, he began relying on hypnosis to treat patients. Origins The Birth of Autosuggestion Kue discovered that subjects could not be hypnotized against their will and, more importantly, that the effects of hypnosis waned when the subjects regained consciousness. He thus eventually developed the Kue method, and released his first book, Self-Mastery Through Conscious Autosuggestion. He described the Kue method as Kue still believed in the effects of medication, but he also believed that our mental state was able to affect and even amplify the action of these medications. He observed that his patients who used his mantra-like conscious suggestion, every day, in every way, I'm getting better and better, comma, replacing their thought of illness with a new thought of cure, could augment their medication plan. According to Kuei, Repeating words or images enough times causes the subconscious to absorb them. In contrast to Kuei's opinion, Johannes Heinrich Schultz believed autogenic training was a method for influencing one's autonomic nervous system, not the so-called subconscious. Unwarranted Optimism, an A Mantra, Kuei's method evolved over several decades of meticulous observation theoretical speculation, in the field testing, incremental adjustment, and step-by-step -step transformation, it tentatively began with very directive one-to-one -one hypnotic inter ventions, based upon the approaches and techniques that Kuei had acquired, from an American correspondence course, as his theoretical knowledge, clinical experience, understanding of, suggestion and auto-suggestion, and hypnotic skills expanded, it gradually, developed into its final subject-centered version an intricate complex of, education, hypnotherapy, ego-strengthening, and, training in self-suggested pain control, and, following instruction in, performing the prescribed self-administration ritual, the twice daily intentional, and deliberate application of its unique formula, every day, in, every way, I'm getting better and better. The Kue method centers on a routine repetition of this particular expression according to a specified ritual, in a given physical state, and in the absence of any sort of allied mental imagery, at the beginning and at the end of each day. Kue maintained that curing some of our troubles requires a change in our subconscious-slash-unconscious thought, which can only be achieved by using our imagination. Although stressing that he was not primarily a healer but one who taught others to heal themselves, 
Kue claimed to have affected organic changes through autosuggestion. Kue thus developed a method which relied on the belief that any idea exclusively occupying the mind turns into reality, although only to the extent that the idea is within the realm of possibility. For instance, a person without hands will not be able to make them grow back. However, if a person firmly believes that his or her asthma is disappearing, then this may actually happen, as far as the body is actually able to physically overcome or control the illness. On the other hand, thinking negatively about the illness will encourage both mind and body to accept this thought. The Kue Method Kue observed that the main obstacle to autosuggestion was willpower. For the method to work, the patient must refrain from making any independent judgment, meaning that he must not let his will impose its own views on positive ideas. Everything must thus be done to ensure that the positive autosuggestive idea is consciously accepted by the patient, otherwise one may end up getting the opposite effect of what is desired. Kue noted that young children always applied his method perfectly, as they lacked the willpower that remained present among adults. When he instructed a child by saying clasp your hands and then you can't pull them apart the child would thus immediately follow his instructions and be unable to unclasp their hands. Underlying Principles Kue believed a patient's problems were likely to increase if his willpower and imagination opposed each other, something Kue referred to as self-conflict. As the conflict intensifies, so does the problem i.e., the more the patient consciously wants to sleep, the more he becomes awake. The patient must thus abandon his willpower and instead put more focus on his imaginative power in order to fully succeed with his cure. With his method, which Kue once called his trick, patients of all sorts would come to visit him. The list of ailments included kidney problems, diabetes, memory loss, stammering, weakness, atrophy and all sorts of physical and mental illnesses. According to one of his journal entries, he apparently cured a patient of a uterus prolapse as well as violent pains in the head. Advocates of autosuggestion appeal to brief case histories published by Emil Kue describing his use of autohypnosis to cure, for example, enteritis and paralysis from spinal cord injury. Willpower Autogenic training is an autosuggestion-based relaxation technique influenced by the Kue method. In 1932, German psychiatrist Johannes Schultz developed and published on autogenic training. Unlike autosuggestion, autogenic training has been proven in clinical trials and, along with other relaxation techniques, such as progressive relaxation and meditation, has replaced autosuggestion in therapy. The CO author of Schultz's multi-volume tome on autogenic training, Wolfgang Luth, was a firm believer that autogenic training was a powerful approach that should only be offered to patients by qualified professionals. Its effectiveness has been confirmed in several studies. Self-conflict Effectiveness Evidence Autogenic Training Footnotes